Hi, this is Ron from Sleepy Circuits and welcome right back to the snooze. Today we have all the latest info about the freshest audiovisual tools. We're announcing the MEZ pre-order, the Hypno for Live Ableton device, our Ederol V4 plus Hypno demo, a recap of the action at Nopcon, and some other juicy resources for learning more about video art. So let's get right into the good stuff. Mez pre-order is live now. You may have seen our new wearable MIDI talisman around conferences this year, and it's finally ready to accompany you in your artistic quest. Mez is a wireless handheld haptic MIDI controller that puts hundreds of parameters in the palm of your hand. Perfect for navigating your next video or audio adventure. Since I last showed Mez, it's gained a gyroscope so you can naturally rotate and dance to the shapes that you see on the screen. Also, in addition to revolutionary eight haptic push encoders, I've included an additional three buttons, a suite of randomization features, and more. So be sure to check out the manual in the link below. Every Mez will include my specially crafted next-gen 3D video synthesis app that supports iOS, iPadOS, and desktop macOS, with even more platforms coming in the future. Though, since this is a class-compliant MIDI controller, third-party apps on all platforms work just fine out of the box. Our beta testers have been hard at work putting the hardware through everything they've got, and we're ready for production. Mez pre-orders are open now, with shipping starting in November. Pre-order today and be the first to experience the future of MIDI fashion. Sleepy Naomi has created a Max for Live device specifically for all of you spreadsheet-loving, timeline-riding Ableton users. Hypno for Live is a Max for Live device that organizes Hypno's MIDI CC mappings into a beautiful and on-brand experience. To help you get started, we made a video all about how to compose audiovisuals in everyone's favorite DAW. Ableton's automation capabilities allow you to have some seriously detailed control over Hypno's output, so make sure to check out the demo video and purchase this device in our shop to add video to your Ableton compositions. Our all-knowing demo team has also created yet another indispensable video on getting started with video art. This time with a classic Ederol V4 video mixer. If you're interested in implementing an analog video mixer into your workflow, do not miss our latest demo all about working with Hypno and Ederol V4. It's right here on our YouTube channel, so make sure to watch that next. If you've been involved with any sort of video DJing, you may have heard about a program called Resolume. Our friends at the company graciously reached out to us and offered to create a first party demo and tutorial about how to use Hypno and Resolume together with their Arena and Wire video tools. This demo shows off pattern generation, masking, video processing, and more. Almost anything is possible with this compact powerhouse of a setup, so make sure to learn all about it by clicking the link below. And now it's time to check in with the wider world of audiovisual news. I've just returned from the Illis corner of Illinois, Nobcon, where I was showing off Mez and Hypno all weekend. Thank you to everyone who tried it out and gave their feedback, and a high five to those who got there early enough to snag the first ever Hypno trading card. This show was an absolute whirlwind of synth goodness. I couldn't possibly hope to cover all of it in this short segment, but some of my highlights were the emergence of the mythical LZX Cro-Magnon, the dual HDMI input structure 2HD prototype, and the absurd meta module by 4MS that has modules in your module for your modular. It was awesome hanging out with all of you, and we can't wait to do it all again very soon. There's been a lot of mixers released in the Eurorack format recently, but you can forget all of them and just buy as many 3D VCAs as possible. This 6HP module can mix 8 mono sound sources, 4 stereo sources, and even daisy chain to mix quadraphonic audio. This mini module has an absolute mega feature set with so much utility, you may never look at a mixer the same way again. And I haven't even mentioned the visuals yet. This module is also an awesome way to wrangle the waveforms going into your oscilloscope. So if last month's video pack made you want to get into oscillographics, look no further than these not one, but two in-depth 3D VCA oscilloscope music tutorials by Mystic Circuits. And make sure to buy at least two 3D VCAs when you're ready to spin those mushrooms yourself. 
And now you know what time it is. It is info time. I have a completely random and vaguely relevant section for you here at the end. I mean, really, you could stop watching right here, but don't do it because this info is spicy hot. Have you ever wanted to talk directly to a video card? Well, now you totally can with the power of shaders. Most modern video software uses these code files called shaders for lighting and video effects. If you would like to learn more about how to draw with code, I highly recommend you check out the site bookofshaders.com. The site features interactive video coding lessons right in your browser, from basic shaping functions to many other fundamental techniques for graphics processing. And if you need some physical cards to help you solidify your learning, make sure to grab Patricio's beautiful shader card deck called Pixel Spirit. Check those links in the description. And that's all I got. Go pre-order Mez or use the top secret code knobme 23 for 10% off on Hypno. Thank you for listening and make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and take frequent naps.